Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. I'm gonna take a look at one from Goose Island, and this is their Autumn Ale. So this is one that comes in at an ABV of 6.7%, 65 IBUs. Looking at the label, um, give you the neat autumn colors, of course, with the change in the color of the leaves. Talks about spicy, hot flavors, dry finish, uh, airy pine aromas. Pouring the color of autumn leaves, our red ale opens with pine aromas and a spicy hop flavors and dry finish, warm with every sip. Grown for Goose Island at Oak Mountain Farms. So, a little bit of that information on there. Everything else is pretty much ingredients, government warning, all that stuff there. Again, 6.7 ABV, 65 IBUs as they put that on their bottle. And as far as the bottle cap itself it's got a neat little goose island one where it looks like they actually put the different flavors now so this one does say autumn ale so I'll go in and keep that for the collection outside of that let's get it off and get it into a glass hey how you doing let that sit for a second and again, here is the cap, a little bit better now. I got it off of there. So that's the Goose Island Automail cap. So we get in the glass to check out the appearance. Wow, nice clarity. See right through it. Um, put it right there, you can see me through the other side. The color, very much so the color of leaves. Nice reddish copper tone to it. The head itself is uh, pretty much white, barely off-white maybe. It looks to have a little bit of creaminess there and already looks like it's going to start lacing the glass. So that's always nice to see. A lot of good carbonation taking place too if you can see that bubble action. I'm trying to get in front of the camera here. I know I can see it on my side. So not as lively as some of the other ones I've had recently but it does have some pretty good bubble action taking place. Let's go ahead and get an aroma. And what the hell is that smell? Wow, that aroma as described. Great pine smell coming off. Nice spice behind it. Nice earthy tone. I mean, the hops are kicking in on this one. It seems to be a great balance. Almost has like that spice fall cider or something that you're used to drinking during the October, November months. Well, that aroma really does nail the, the uh, smell for autumn. Love that spice. Really good smell, really good smell. So, let's go ahead and get a taste. Well, I do want to know what it tastes like. Wow, great taste. Great mouthfeel. As soon as the beer hits your mouth, a burst of flavor. Um, you can see on the glass already, as I mentioned, the glass lacing is starting to take place. Even though it has a thinner head, it's already lacing what it does have there. Um, wow, but you get that nice mouthfeel. I mean, it's, I can still feel the flavors in the mouth. A nice, good duration on the flavors. Um, not too watery, a nice dry texture, a nice crisp finish. Seems to be a nice balance between the hops and the malts um, as far as within the flavor. Not too bitter at all. You do have that light bitterness which you would expect to get some with a 65 IBU beer but it's not overly bitter. Um, Wow, just very, very nice, very drinkable. This is very good. I could sit around a campfire and drink these for a while for sure. The texture on it, as I mentioned, nice and dry, but also has a nice medium body on it as well. So I'm really thrown back. I didn't know it was going to be this good. I've 
had a lot of the other Goose Island beers, and they usually put out some really good ones. This one is up there. This is a nice fall beer. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. <sighs> Very nice. So, take a look at this overall. I think when you look at the appearance, what they give you with this beer, the appearance itself, dead on, what you would want for like a fall beer, an American Amber, that red ale, hits that perfectly. Nice clarity, um, nice action of the bubbles. You can really sit there and enjoy it um, and see what's going on inside that beer. The nice glass lacing, the aroma, just the spice and the pine and the earth and the hops that come off of this make it very nice. And then the taste itself delivers full bore across everything. It's just wow. This is a this is a knockout beer for Goose Island. So I think it's a very solid beer. I think it's one that. I would drink again with no hesitation um, after going up to Chicago in, uh, a couple months ago and enjoying some more of the Goose Island beers that we don't use to get around here locally even though some people say well they're not a craft beer brewer now because of the ownership and everything they still make great quality products and this is a beer that does highlight that if you've had it let me know what you think put some comments in the comments section it's the Goose Island Autumn Ale but for me, I think this is definitely a winner and one that people should try. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and finish knocking this one out because it's too good to just let it sit there. But I look forward to seeing you in the next video. appreciate you swinging by. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to speed on the videos, of course. And again, if you've had it, let me know. I'd love to get feedback, so please leave some comments as well. And with that being said, I'll say cheers. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Does this guy know how to party or what?